You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here, and today I'm going to be building a really fun silver hybrid. It's got a lot of skillers in it, and it is just generally a great team to play with. I haven't been enjoying FIFA 13 all that much recently, but after playing with this, I just really did enjoy it. And it's the sort of team that I wanted to keep on playing with, even though I'd got enough clips with it to show you guys sort of the stuff that it can do. So those are the sort of teams that you really want to keep about. Now, if you're looking for some ultimate team coins, go and check out FIFA Coins Online's Facebook page. It's down in the description. Drop a like while you're there, and you can link yourself over to the main website where you can buy some ultimate team coins. So here we go. You can see that we are in the 3-5-2 formation, and we are going to be putting in some skillers to start us off. Now, it is all silver for this team I have to say and I do really enjoy silvers I hate golds it's just so boring so predictable all you play is Bundesliga sweat teams blah 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 this that and the other and uh, I just can't stand it to be honest it's just not the way I like to play I like to you know come up against interesting team and play um, you know different people to be honest with different tactics and yeah and before I start I want to say this isn't the most solid of teams but it is just really fun so there you go um, okay so at left mid there's two well, there's one left mid that has five-star skills on this game that's silver, and that's McKay-Steven. And I didn't want to use him because I've used him in a lot of skill hybrids recently. So, I wanted to get someone else, and obviously there aren't any other left mids. But, there is a left back that has five-star skills, and you can get him onto nine chemistry if you change him to a left wing back. So, there we go. Marcio Azevedo, he is our answer. Absolutely love playing him at left mid. Thought he was fantastic. Almost scored a couple of really nice goals with him. Uh, unfortunately, his finishing isn't great, and also his right foot is pretty dire so um, when I was cutting in on goal he didn't actually do the work now we can get him onto full chemistry all we have to do is get two strong links so two greens and one orange link so the two strong links are going to come from another five star skiller and it comes in the form of Wallison there we go his Sao Paulo version it is quite important that you get a Sao Paulo version if you're going to do this um, 88 pace five star skills and yeah really really fun to play with and uh, the reason that it's important to get the Sao Paulo uh, Wallison is because of the CDM you're going to be using you're going to be using Wellington now this guy's kind of interesting he's really really highly statted for a C or CDM or a CM or whatever he defaults as because he's got 81 pace which is crazy he's got 71 defending I think he's got four star skills as well yep you can see there the four star skill moves as well so really cool CDM to put into the team he actually started as I believe a right mid and then he got moved when he got a transfer well it wasn't even a transfer card it was just an upgrade card in January he actually got moved central but they gave him more pace than when he was out on the wing which is completely bizarre or bonkers but there you go he is in the team he gets in there and that's the reason that you need to get the Sao Paulo Wallison because otherwise he's not going to get full chemistry in this squad and then at centre back I'm going to be using the only one and well the one and only Antonio Ferreira this guy is so overpowered probably you want to well I think that he is joint first best centre back on this uh, or silver centre back on the game with Criate. so there you go he goes into the squad as well now um, I can't decide where I'm going to go next to show you I'm going to go with the strikers because the strikers are something that I want to show you and I really enjoyed using these two so at the striking position we have Chikauhi so he's the only silver that has five star skills and five star weak foot and all year I've been thinking I wish there was like another El Shawi, and I looked at this guy and I was like, nah, he won't be like El Shawi from uh, FIFA 12. He's got there's nothing on him. But I started using him. Oh my god, he is fantastic. I recommend him highly. Try him out. He is so much fun to play with. And the best thing about him is he's actually got a teammate who's half decent that you can get full chemistry with. So his teammate is going to be down a little bit. I've got quite a few strikers in my club. I didn't realise I had this many. But um, where is he? He's even further down. There we go, Chamiti. He is a, another Tunisian player, plays for SC uh, Zurich, so perfect. He has four star skills as well. He's left footed, so do play him at the right striker position, or otherwise you're going to be on his right foot a lot of the time. So using him in the right striking position will, you know, open up his left foot. So those two, fantastic. You can shove him in any 3 5 2 you want because they get full chemistry anyway. Right, so the, for the rest of the team, we need to get another skiller in here. Skill looking a bit uh, empty for skillers. So we are going to be using Quincy. I know I've got all the other skillers as well, but the one we're using today is Awusu Abai or Quincy, five star skiller from Panathinaikos. And he has, well, he's got an N as well. He's just really, really good. I've used him before and yeah, definitely worth the coins. Only 4,000 coins I picked him up for. Now to get him onto full chemistry, we're going to be using Ghanaian links. So the Ghanaian I'm using, I was thinking of using this guy, but 
the way it worked was I'd have to use quite a bad centre back to get him onto full chemistry, and I just didn't want to. So we ended up going with Wacaso from uh, Osasuna, is it? Yeah. No, Espanol, my bad. Um, so there we go. Wakaso goes into the squad. Uh, not particularly anything special. He only has two star skill moves, but he's a fantastic CDM. Even though he's only five foot five, he's very strong and very fast. So great CDM there. Would definitely recommend him. The centre back that we're using for the Ghanaian part is going to be a guy called Boy. Uh, he is the fastest Ghanaian centre back. You've actually not got much choice when it comes to Ghanaian centre backs, unfortunately. It would be really nice if there were some, uh, you know, quicker ones in there, but there just isn't. So um, I think he's quite far down because he's not all that highly rated. There we go. He plays for Stad Rene and uh, he goes into the squad as well with that 72 pace. So he's not particularly slow but he's not particularly quick either for a centre back. Then in the other centre back position we're going to be using a teammate of Wakaso and it will be if I can find him he's going to be quite far down I think because again he is non-rare and uh, there we go Raul Rodriguez so he goes in as well only 69 pace and like I said it's not the most solid team at the back especially the right side of the defence but you have to use the player for chemistry reasons if you can come up with a better way maybe take out Wakaso, leave Quincy in there maybe change the three non-rare players about and you can get better chem like full chemistry on them tweet at me because I'd be really interesting to see it to actually improve this team because I quite enjoy using it so I probably would um, you know make the changes and put them in full time now uh, the goalkeeper we're going to be using an informed goalkeeper it has to be a Spanish goalkeeper to get uh, Raul Rodriguez onto full chemistry and we're using Inform Palop now I highly recommend you don't use this guy he is crap I've used last week I used Pinto the Inform version he was bad but this guy is even worse he's absolutely terrible just stay well clear of him um, he he palms stuff into his own net basically he's just rubbish so there you go guys that is the team stick around for the goals they're coming up in a second with some music if you could drop the video a like that would be amazing but other than that leave it I will leave it there and I will see you all next time